the study investigates changes in cyclone activity over the northern hemisphere using an ECOM 4-OPYC-3 greenhouse gas scenario simulation with two 50-year time periods, one representing present-day climate conditions and the other a perturbed climate when CO2 concentrations exceed twice the present concentrations. The automatic algorithm detects not only large and long-living cyclones over the main ocean basins but also their smaller counterparts in secondary storm track regions like the Mediterranean Basin. Results show a significant decrease of overall cyclone track density between 35 and 55 degrees north, together with a small increase polewards, due to two different signals for deep and medium cyclones. For deep cyclones there is a poleward shift in the greenhouse gas scenario while for medium cyclones a general decrease in cyclone counts is found. The same kind of changes, a shift for intense cyclones and an overall decrease for the weaker ones, are detected when distinguishing cyclones from their intensity, quantified in terms of NABLA 2P. Corresponding increases in upper tropospheric baroclinicity suggest more favorable conditions for the development of stronger systems at higher latitudes, especially at the delta regions of the North Atlantic and the North Pacific storm tracks. This article was authored by Joaquin G. Pinto, Thomas Spangel, Uva Ulbrich, and others. We are article.tv, links in the description below.